on the chilling All Hallows' Eve in Cleveland, Tennessee, as the mist rolls in and the wind starts to tease, a legend breaks free, cutting through the darkness with ease. Centuries ago, in a time now nearly erased, a mysterious figure known as Betsy earned her dark place. She would haunt the streets of Cleveland under the moon's embrace, her form tall, shadowy, and her footsteps leaving no trace. Cloaked in the night, she wore the blackest of veils, causing even the bravest of souls to grow pale. Many dismissed her as just a myth, a specter, a fleeting shade conjured up to enforce bedtime, to ensure rules were obeyed. Yet as nights turned to days and seasons would fade, whispers among the townsfolk grew and a foundation of fear was laid. Young ones, their faces lit by the lantern's soft glow, would exchange stories, their voices tentative and low. They'd warn each other of the tall woman's shadow, urging friends to be cautious, for her reach was vast and thorough. The talk wasn't just idle, it was grounded in fact. Stories, chilling and grim, built a harrowing pact. Tales of children, once lively, now forever abstract, who went missing on Halloween night with Betsy's presence intact. Decades transformed into centuries, and with time, her story became even more chilling, as if set to some haunting rhyme. Some proposed theories, feeling something sublime, asserting she hailed from another dimension, another time. Her hunger for souls, they said, was her anchor, her chime. While others whispered she sought vengeance for a long forgotten crime. A tormented spirit bound, always in her prime, wandering endlessly. Every mountain she'd climb, searching for an answer, for a sign. So, tonight, as you feel the October chill and hear the distant bells chime, Venture out with caution, keep the legends in mind. When the world is silent except for the owl's rhyme, listen for the rustle of a cloak, the ethereal paradigm. For as the town clock chimes, signaling the late hour's time, if white eyes meet yours in a gaze so prime, pray you haven't met tall Betsy in her haunting paradigm. Because, my friends, on Halloween, Legends don't just reside in lore or mime. They awaken, they breathe, and sometimes they intertwine with the real, making the night's experience truly sublime. <laughs>